<laughs> all right guys so i got the k-series short block going together here i got the girdle all on with the crank in there all the thrust washers and everything is all nice and clean and everything's all nice and tight so got that all torqued down right there and then i need to go ahead and get this thing all put back together since i exploded the one of the spare stock ones and toasted the hypoid gear need to put it back together with other stock gears inside this case because this case does seem to help hold everything together once that one let go um, the bearings weren't supported and it just chewed up this gear way more than it did the other ones and even when the stock ones were in this case it really supported them a lot better so we had some metal get in here onto the damper so i'm going to use the one from my other shaft so i got a nice clean damper there so we'll go on to here just like that just like that and then uh there we go. We're all feet together once I tighten it all up.
All right, so I got the transfer case all together and I was checking it out. Uh, where did I put the light? I put it back. Looking in there. together really really well that's all the play there is that's awesome that is awesome so got this thing all fixed up and back together gonna clean off a little bit of metal that are still here and there and then uh, go ahead and put it back in and get the transmission plugged up just trying to keep everything sealed so when it goes to the body shop uh, there isn't just a bunch of open holes everywhere like I plug the oil return would like to plug this just try and get it plugged up you know what i mean there will be holes there in there because there's nothing i can do about that actually i could put the half shaft back on i i could plug those holes but i don't know this is just a really big one and then this is a pretty important one you know and getting this guy to see. Yeah, beat up that stock one good, so it's a little angry in here. Twisted maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Got a malito, I got a malito. All right, <clears throat> so 
I adjusted the lockout and uh alright so it seems to uh, be working a lot better now I don't have to let go so put it in first you know and then I set it okay so it's set now now I'm gonna act like I'm doing this I mean I don't have the G's on me or the inertia or the anything but I'm just gonna act natural try and get the flashlight to stay so the camera I'll try and get the camera to stay hope these things like to fall over on me we're gonna watch this watch this right here that's what we're watching alright so we're in first flashlight already fell camera already fell that's awesome Alright, flashlight set back up. Camera. Camera. Take two. Alright. So we're in first. And so pulling over tension on it, it doesn't fall into that outer pin ever. So that's good. So we're in first. Ah, we launch. Floor. Slam set. And it just fell in. I don't know. We go third, but I want to see. So we'll go back to first. And I want to see if I just hold it. See, with me just holding it, it didn't fall in yet. So I need to adjust it some to where I can just hold it. And it just falls in. See, I still have to let go. And letting go is not terrible. I'm supposed to let go for the strain gauge. And it, it's not the worst thing, but he told me you should have it where you hold tension on it. And maybe I need to add another washer in here so that the bolt's further into that, pulling that this way, but it, it's further out over here. And that is something that's possibly possible, but let's see now. Yeah, me holding it over in a second, we're still... A little bit away, but let's go. Perfect. Right in third. We go back into fourth. Dog box isn't allowing me to go in that gear right now. But then, I mean, that's how far we can go over. Side to side. Can't go up into first at all. So, it's awesome. Alright guys, so I got the lockout finally figured out and sorted out and I had the help of the guy from Acadian Performance. He helped me get it all solved and kicked butt. So now, now I lock it, like I put it in first there, you know, I locked it. Right there, locked it. So now, I just slam second gear. Look at that. I don't have to let go, I don't have to do anything special. Just slam third gear. That's how it's supposed to be. Whew. Let's do this thing, boys. I'm pumped up. Let's go. Let's get it straight already. Let's get this thing fixed. So I'll get this plate all back on. Make sure it also performs the same with the support plate. And uh, we'll just keep slamming the gears. All right, guys. So we got the shifter all adjusted. We got the T case fixed in on there. So the trans is all plugged up. And... Uh, pretty much ready to go back on the trailer so thanks for tuning in i appreciate it guys like comment subscribe down below this is goofball and uh, peace out